Hello everyone, um, it's Aiden, welcome back to my videos if you've watched them before, or hello if you haven't, I'm, yeah, I'm Aiden, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about myself. Thank you for clicking on my video, and I hope you enjoy it. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, so, um, it's just first off, I'm gonna apologize for the shadow, I just, I don't have an extra light. Um, so, this video is just, um, it's gonna be, like, the art supplies I own. Um, this is basically just what I brought with me to uni. Um, when I went home, um, I couldn't find any of my art supplies, um, due to the fact that me and my sister have switched rooms, so everything's a bit of, a bit of unorganized at the moment. Um, I was gonna do this video including the stuff, that stuff at home, but like I said, I can't find it, so I'm re-recording this video, and hopefully this time it's gonna be a bit more organised than it was prior. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> I suddenly forgot what I was gonna say. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be kind of a chill video, um. I just want to say that these supplies that I have are things that I've collected for many years. Like, so I'm just going to start with like paper, so like my sketchbooks and stuff. So, right, so I'm going to start with like my sketchbooks. So, I typically have like, if you recognize this, this is from my first sketchbook tour, the covers came off, so, but this is just this type of sketchbook, so the Dale and Rowney graduate sketchbook. Um, I typically have them in two sizes, just, I don't know, it's just, I typically get my sketchbooks from my older sister as a birthday present, um, so that's, so I, so yeah, they're not expensive sketchbooks, they're typically just cheap sketchbooks that my sister manages to get, um, the one I'm currently using is a uh, Hobbycraft, a uh, Hobbycraft Zone. Um, once again, I've got that in two sizes. Um, well, my sister got me four this time because I almost finished my sketchbook just before I left to or my sketchbook just before I left to for uni. Um, so she got me them as uni presents instead of birthday presents. But I took the stickers off the ones I'm currently using, so I just brought this one in just so. I can't remember where it is, but yeah, so it's the dust. Both of them are 140 GSM and they both have, I think, 20 pages. That one's 40. This one is 20. I don't know if it means like 20 pages or like, tw like, or like sheets, but you know. So this one's pages and that one might be sheets. So. Yep, and then I have um, watercolour paper, so I've got this little, this is, I'm, I, I've am i just got dog prints in here mainly, and just little sketches from when I first started, like just trying to use my watercolours but not have to worry about doing a big piece, um, so this is, <laughs> this is expensive. Uh, for me, um, this is £140, it's got 15 sheets on, and it's just, I think it's like A6, yeah, it's A6, um, so, yeah, and then I have this watercolour paper, which is unused, uh, this is just cheap watercolour paper, because I have this other one from Art, but I don't like using it, because it's expensive, and, I don't know, when it's, because it's expensive, I feel like I have, it has to be good, what I put on it, I feel like it has to be good, so I've just got cheaper paper just to like practice with, so the pressure's off, because I feel like when I, when I feel pressured, it comes out worse, and then I feel bad for wasting good paper, um, I believe this is a sketch, the watercolour sketchbook I made myself, oh that was a really bad page, <laughs> This is the watercolor sketchbook I made myself, and this is the same paper as this one because this was also going to be made into a sketchbook, just a larger one, but it kind of got chewed. So, um, I still kept a lot of the paper because 
I mean, there was a lot more paper, but some of them were like completely torn. So, not that one. Let me see. Like, see this? Like, a lot of it was even worse. Um, so some of the paper I had to throw away. And I believe this is this paper, but I, th I don't think it is because the texture is different. But this is the only paper I remember. But, um... I recently saw, I was watching a video and I saw some paper that looked familiar, like the cover. So I'll try to find a picture of that because that might be this paper. So I'll just like insert that somewhere here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my watercolour paper. Um, like I said, this one's only cheap watercolour paper. Once again, like it doesn't have, I don't know. I know it's cheap because I just bought the cheap, cheapest paper in the store and I got like three packs just to make like the sketchbooks with um because like this this is like paper that you meant to take out and stuff and like so this one's like the same but um I wanted something I could take around with me and I'm I don't know I'm not really a fan of like flip open ones like this so yeah so that's my paper all right so this is gonna be like my pencils and stuff. So really, um, well, I'll do pencils. Yeah, I'll do two pencils. Um, so I have some of my coloured pencils in here, but I will feature them later. But really, I just use um. That's not a good one to pick. Oh, neither is that one. Okay. So I have these pencils. I'm going to focus, please. Which, um, wait, no, that's the same size. One second. One second. There we go. So those two are the same size. So, yeah, just let me get rid of that one. <laughs> so, um, these are just the pencils I have. And, um, I don't know. I, yeah, so they're just HB pencils. Um, they're the same, exact same, um, they're just two different sizes. Um, focus. So yeah, just I got a 0.7 millimeter and a 0.9. Um, just HP pencils. I just find mechanical pencils a lot more convenient. <laughs> Although I do have a pencil sharpener in here, I don't like using it because it's like often I'm not by a bin, so then it's like having to get up and go to the bin and I feel really awkward because I don't like leaving my like sketchbook wide open where people can see um and I don't like just shaving it on at the table and then like carrying it over later I don't know um <laughs> I also use this pencil case for like my uni so that's why I got pens and highlighters in there <laughs> um but yeah I also use like this this rubber I really like them it's just a like I said it's just a cheap eraser and then this is just like a cheap cheap um sharpener which i got in the same pack so just yeah i like the metal metal sharpeners i feel like they're better than plastic ones i don't know i like in my experience they just they just work better and i just i think this one works really good um so yeah and sometimes i use um just a pen like just a ballpoint pen but not very often um, that is quite rare. I used to do more stuff in bubble pen, but now I don't. Also, do you like my pencil case? I think it's really cute. My my sleeves keep going up. Um, so, now I just got, like, my brushes. Ah, like, my brushes and, like, inking stuff. So I have these, which are really, really cheap kids' brushes. That I got, um, oh, we love Filbert. Um, when I first got my watercolors, um, they these are just honestly these are just kids ones. Uh, it says Royal something on them. I don't actually remember the brand, but I only got cheap ones because. Please focus. Okay, wait, focus. Is that focused? I don't think it's focused very well. See, it's just royal something. I don't entirely know. Um, there was another one. I'm pretty sure this was a pack of six, but I think they got chewed. So I don't know where the last one is. I don't even remember what the last one was. 
It might have just been a smaller flat brush, actually. So yeah, I just have an angle brush, flat brush around, a filbert, and then a liner. But like you can see, oh, I'm really bad at this. I'm sorry. As you can see, the tip isn't that great, which kind of shows that they're not the best quality brushes. Because even when you apply water, it doesn't really hold a tip. So even though it's a liner, it's not really a very good liner. <laughs> um, and then I just got a bigger round brush. Which, I don't know. And I think this is a... It might be the same or a different brand. I can't remember, but I remember I got it because it's got the grip thing. So yeah, I didn't see the point in investing a lot of money in brushes when I was just starting out. Because um, I'd never ever used paints before. Maybe once in high school. And... <laughs> But yeah, because I, I got them when I started college. And now I have some aquash. Please focus. Now I have some like aquash brushes and I arrange it so the lightest cap is the smallest and the darkest is the biggest. So like as you can see, I just organize it like that. And they don't, I'm pretty sure in the packet they didn't come like that. It's just the way I organize it because, you know, I don't want to have to uncap everyone to try and figure out which is which when I'm painting. Um, I really, really like these, except I just, I also really like just using normal brushes. So I kind of want to go out and get some more. But at the same time, I'm not painting a whole lot right now, apart from maybe just adding a little bit of color into my sketchbook. Um, so I don't really want to invest in new brushes. So yeah. And so there are my brushes and then like my inking tools I have wait let's start with these ones these makes more sense so I've got the Pentel pocket brush pen which is just is it focused please focus focus oh no I'm getting ink on my hand see that the Pentel pocket brush pen which is really nice I just don't use a whole lot and then this is this brush except I added ink in it like um, my my acrylic ink, which I've forgotten to get out. Um. <laughs> oh well. Um, and then like just a couple of drops of ink, and then water. But I think I overfilled it, and now I can't get the cap off. Oh, got the cap off. It's very dark. Um. The thing is, because it's acrylic ink, it's I don't know if it's dried up or something. It's not really ideal. The, the ideal type of ink so I might get some different types of ink and do it again because I do have a spare set of these brushes because I wanted to I wanted to make like diluted ink because I feel like the black sometimes a bit too stark or stark stark don't know what I'm saying but it's just sometimes it's just um I don't know it because I mostly do stuff in pencil I just feel like it's a bit too dark for when I color it and I don't know if it's just because I don't have very good control with the pencil so it's the lines are really bold and thick but eh, oh well and then I have these um Stedler fineliners um they come in I got it in a pack of six um so yeah so they just uh they're the sizes so I've got them in the wrong... No, I haven't got them in the wrong order. No, I do. I apologize. That's going to remind me if I don't fix it. Right. So I got the 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and then a chisel tip, which um, is 0 0.3 to 2 millimeters, according to the front. And these are quite nice. Uh, these are really nice. It's just, um, you can't really get, there's, you can't get line very, you, I apologize, I can't talk very well. I can't, cannot get line variation apart from with the chisel tip, but you can't really get it with the chisel tip. Um, because obviously it's like, you can get different widths, but not really, the, the same as with as you can with like a brush if that makes sense 
um, so the lines aren't, like, the, the variation of width typically isn't this fluid, um, just gonna move them over, and then, and then, wait, which way does it go, and then I have these, which are the Kuretake Bitmoji brush pens, and I have them in four different sizes, and, um, I just want to say these were a present from my friend, um, bless her, I love her, she's, she's great, <laughs> she's my best friend, shout out to my friend, Katie, hello, <laughs> um, but no, I really, really like these, I they're just, they're, they're like a brush pen, but they're, they're more sturdy. So, because I have, because it's like not bristles, um, it's easier to control the width of the line. So, because I haven't learned very much, um, control yet, um, these are, I find really, really great to use. I love them. Um, I've actually been using them quite, uh, quite a bit in my sketchbooks. Um, so yeah, I really love these. These are great. And that won't stick anymore because I keep opening it. Oh, no, it keeps going out of focus. Oh, no. All right. Now I'm going to go on to color. So... These are the colored pencils you saw earlier in my pencil case. Um, they're just kids' colored pencils. Um, the packaging is completely falling apart. Look at that! Look how cool that looks from the way, from the way the pencils have moved around. There's a little rainbow in, in my pencil box. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Focus, please. Oh, wow, it zoomed in. Okay, that was an accident. Um, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, once then, these were a present as well, actually. Um, these are a pretty old present. Um, they were off my sister and her partner. Um, yeah. So I just, um, I don't use these colors a whole lot. Um, honestly, because I don't really color with them, but, I've, but, um, the colors in my pencil case, right, okay, so, let me explain, the colors in my pencil case, so I've got two, the two blues, the two reds, the orange, and the purple. Let me find it, right, and I'll explain why now, right, so, this is really good for adding like a little bit of like skin tone and then the reds are really good for blushes like obviously different skin tones so or sometimes it's just you want a deeper blush and then the blues are just my favorite color <laughs> and um and what was i gonna say and um i like to so these I use more for going to add a bit of color or maybe going over if I've added a bit of watercolors just to add a bit more texture or a bit more depth to the color and then these I really like for under sketching and I broke the light blue I like the red the light red as well for under sketching and I really like the purple also the purple I find it's just a really good medium for the blues and the reds well Yo, red and orange. So it's just it's it's I feel like the purple is just a good medium to have between the colors. So yeah, so like I said, um for under I use these colors for under sketching and sometimes just add a bit more depth and texture when I use my watercolors in my sketchbook. And like I said, they're just cheap color pencils that you'd get for a kid. Um, nothing nothing special. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know if I should, yeah, they're just like, like, like Crayola. I think everyone knows Crayola. Um, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then, I have my Renzer Newton watercolors. 
and I used to have a smaller set except I just wanted more colors um and this is my little color chart I wanted more colors and my little sister was interested in using the watercolors so I just kind of gave her my smaller set um she ended up giving me the cat cadmium red pale out of it out of or was it or was it the cat orange she ended up giving me one of these colors out of the set that she had because she she said she wouldn't use that color much but when I told her about skin tone she was just like oh, that's fine I'll just I'll deal without it um I kind of need to get like a new palette or something because it falls out a lot um so yeah and I've got some I bought a few colors to add to my other set a, a while back um, colors that I didn't have in the other set um but when I got this set they had them in but I didn't want to give them to my sister because I paid <laughs> extra for these um no I I took this was from my old set but I gave because I'd used that one so much I gave her the new one out of this set so that because I felt like it was unfair because if you see there's how much of a well I've made in it I felt bad giving it to her so I kind of I, I just gave it gave her the new one from this this because I had a spare well I said like I said I, I had a spare from the packet I bought because I got confused with what color I had so because there's different reds so yeah so this is my watercolors it's also got two artist grade colors in because you could have a set where you have the pans to fill up all of them but they had doubles of certain colors and they were colors I wouldn't use a lot. So I didn't think it was worth it. And the colors that it didn't have in it that I liked, like the cobalt blue. Um, I didn't get the cobalt blue, but I did get it in the artist grade. So I really like the Indian red as well. But like I said, um, I just felt it was more worth to get this set rather than the one with all the pans because if there were colors that I wanted, I could just buy them. But I didn't see the point in paying for extra pans of one color that I wouldn't use. So that's why I just got this one and then I just, just add colors that I want. Um, I also kind of want to try out tube colors. But uh, like I said, I, I do like this set. Um, it's only Cotman. Um, so it's just student grade. Um, but... I don't know. It's kind of like I want to try out different types because Windsor Newton is the only water, the only watercolors I've used. Really, I I've got another set just here. It's the only set I've used really, but I kind of really want to just try a new set. Um, because I, well, not a new set. I just want to try different watercolors. But like once again, I don't really want to spend out the money to invest in it because it's just. I don't want to spend the money out on it if I'm not sure I'm going to use it. Especially if I've already got those supplies. So it's like, if I was going to get oil, then it's a bit different because I don't have any oils. But because I already have watercolors, water, <laughs> watercolors, I, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Um, like I said, with the brushes, I have brushes there. But I kind of want to upgrade Um but I do like these, and I know they're only... I know people say there's a lot better brands out there than Wins and Newton. But... I don't know. I just I just like these. Um, so, yeah. And then I have these Echoline watercolors. Um, <laughs> I guess I haven't taken the price sticker off. Um, I got, got an extra discount on this as well because I'm a student. Um, I think I got this around my birthday as a treat for myself, or maybe it was just be yeah, I think so. Um, these are like liquid watercolors. Um, look at the back, look at that. How cool is that? Um, I can't remember why I picked these colors. <laughs> I mean, why they picked this brand. I think it was because, but yeah, these, I haven't really used these, if I'm honest, at all. I've used them like a little bit and it was more just 
with my other watercolors but i do like these um i just haven't really used them and it's more just because it's inconvenient for me to have to get them out and put them in the palette and stuff like that that's kind of why i prefer the pans just because it's it's more convenient to use um so i don't know i might just save these for i might use these as like for this instead like you know like in so i can have the different colors to ink with but that's only if once they've dried they're like waterproof or something i don't know and if they're not waterproof then i'll probably just have to color first and then line after but i think these would be quite good for that because it does have a black which you can't see because it's behind the sticker but that's the black and it's got a really nice brown and then all oh, the blue the blue is so pretty and you, you, they just mix really well together as well. So, yeah, they're just really nice. But, like I said, I just haven't really used them much. Also, the case is super cool. If I can open it, it's kind of hard, difficult. And it's just, yeah, I just think it's kind of cute. It's cute. And it's got space for brush there. Which I only just noticed. It's here. And then... These are just like little things, like I don't know how I don't want to call them accessories, but like supplies that you use like in accordance with other stuff. So I've just got my little palette here. It's just little cheap plastic palette. It's like fifty pence or something. So I just got it to use with those watercolors, and as you can see, I have used it a little bit, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I can't remember what I used it with. Oh, wait. I think I used it for Cat Chan. My man, Cat Chan. But I feel like they've dried, so I don't think I could reactivate them. That's the only thing with like liquid watercolors. Is I don't think adding water would reactivate these. As far as I'm aware, I haven't quite tested. Let me test. Let me test this. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Never mind. That was a dumb, dumb thing. So let me clean my brush off. Okay, so yeah, never mind that comment. <laughs> and then I have some masking tape, which I normally cut in a roll of anywhere from one to like a pack of four for like a pound. Um, it all just depends where I go. So this is just masking tape that I found in like the grocery store. And I got some gun tape, gun, gum tape, um, because I had to use it in uni, not uni, college when I did fine art. Um, and I thought it was quite useful, but I actually haven't used it much since using college. Plus it got wet, so it's kind of, I can still use it. It's just difficult to time to like take apart. So it got wet, so it stuck to itself. So, you know, that that's great. Um, and then I have, um, like, masking fluid. This is, like, a blue one, so it has, like, a blue color. Or else the blue will settle to the bottom. 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 I'm sorry, I can't talk very well right now. I'm kind of tired. I didn't sleep well last night, and I had volleyball practice last night. And the match the night before, so I'm very achy. <laughs> so, yeah, and they're just both masking fluid. And I use this one more, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know why, I just do. Um, but yeah, I, obviously, I don't know if anyone, like, if you don't know, masking fluid is, you basically, when you, you want to watercolor, because this one's for, like, watercolor, um, what you do is you just add it on to the paper where you don't want color to get, and then you wait for it to dry, and then you paint, and then once the paint's dry, you can take it off, and it'll leave the area that you had on, none of the paint would have got to, and you can do it over layers as well, depending, because sometimes it can lift the color a little, so depending on your paper and the colors you, uh, watercolors you use, you might be able to use, so say if you put like one layer, and then you like put it on the paper once the layer's dry, and then you put another layer over, and it'll leave the layer underneath, like exactly the way it was, but like I said, sometimes it can lift the color, and you gotta be, and you gotta test it with your paper as well, because sometimes it like makes your paper a bit weird. Um, so yeah, these are the things I use. Um, 
Right. Okay, so now I'm just going to organize myself for the next segment. Whew. There's another segment. This video is really long. I apologize. So yeah, this is my favorite stuff slash the stuff that I use most frequently. We're pretty much... Every, well, not every time I draw. But like, yeah, that's the stuff I, I use most frequently. Um, biscuit crumbs, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so to start off, um, yeah, just, just my sketchbooks, um, really. So like I said, this is just the hobby craft. Also, this, this sketchbook is getting a sketchbook tour soon, so <laughs> look out for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, just my sketchbook because obviously I use it. Whenever, pretty much every time I draw. Um, and then this watercolor paper, just because um, it's cheap. Um, some of it's wrecked, like some of it's like really badly chewed. So um, it's low pressure, just kind of like my sketchbook. It's low pressure, so I don't feel obligated to for each thing. I every time I practice for it to come out really well, which is something I struggle with with my other watercolor paper because it's expensive so I don't want to waste it on silly or bad drawings so this stuff um I apologize about the shadow again um so yeah this I use more frequently when I do my watercolors um say show like show show can't talk very well that's inktober stuff um I'm trying to find something I did recently oh so yeah like this, like, um, I did a, I had a sketch in my sketchbook, and I really liked it, and I wanted to turn it into a watercolor piece, um, I wasn't really too proud of the sketch when I put it onto here, so I just, so I, instead I just kind of, like, used it as practice, um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably combine this sketch and the other sketch, like, if I scan it in and combine the two sketches or something, um, kind of create a sketch that I'm most proud of. Also, I wish this was like metallic, except the color on the inside instead of the outside because I'm not really a fan of that. Um, but I don't have any metallic watercolors. And I've been looking in for art stores around where my uni is, except none of them have the fine text or the col color row, whatever the new name is. So yeah, this watercolor paper is currently my favorite simply just because it's low pressure and I don't feel bad using it and then I have I forgot to, my pen okay <laughs> I forgot my pencil case these pens um I, I love these pens um thank you Katie <laughs> once again so much for getting me them I just I really like like these pens because they're a lot easier for me to control as opposed to the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. And don't get me wrong, the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen is amazing. I just, I can't control it very well. Um, so I often make stupid mistakes. That's really frustrating because sometimes you just, like, if, say, I, like, sometimes I might do a portrait and sometimes the line just gets, a, like, it goes, it'll be fu dead. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it's just complete, like, and it's, looks really weird and awkward and I, I can't figure out how to fix it um so I end up being really frustrated with myself because maybe the sketch was really good or something but these I can control a lot easier because of the fact that the tips more like spongy like felty rather than like an actual like bristles of a brush so yeah I, I absolutely love these and I've been using them quite frequently in my sketchbooks actually um so I just my sleeves keep going up because I'm moving my arms like this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I really, really like these. These are amazing. So if you say you struggle with the pencil pocket brush pen, I recommend getting these. Um, I'd say probably this size or maybe this, this one. If like, cause obviously you get slightly more line variation, but if you want really thin ones, then like go for this one. But yeah, I think I might have used all of them, but I use this one most frequently just because in my sketchbook, the sketches are quite small. And, um, so I need the smaller one for the details and stuff. But I'd probably use these bigger ones for when I do larger pieces. Because, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Or sometimes I use them, like, 
with each other because obviously some details you want slightly thicker in areas and others really fine and obviously I've got my aqua aquash brush pens I forgot what they were called I was like aqua um yeah these are just I love these these are convenient um they hold a really really nice tip I love them um I've had other work I can't talk very well I've had other water brush pens but they just didn't work as well um they just trying to squeeze the water out and stuff it just didn't work um so that's why I try I end up spending out money on these and getting new ones um I'm not gonna say the brand because I just I don't know if I just got a bad packet or what but for the other brand but these these are great um I got these on eBay for quite cheap, so I shall try to find the link and add these in the description because these are these are great. I just, I just love them. And then, obviously, I forgot my pencil case because I'm a noob. I should have did that first, but I apologize. So, obviously, just like these mechanical pencils, I love them. Um, they're cheap, but they don't. But they're not like so cheap that like they're flimsy and they're not very good quality. Like they're cheap, but they're good. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, and then just my rubber or eraser if you're an American. And then my sharpener. I try to remember to say eraser because I think, I believe rubber means like something else in America. So I don't know. I'm just trying not to say but yeah, and then obviously my my colored pencils that I use most frequently. I've lost the other red. Where is it? Come back to me, red. There we are. It's, yeah. So these colors I use most frequently, and I, I just love these. And it's like not that the other colors are bad or anything. It's just these are what I use. So these are my favorites. Um, but. The other pencils are just the same quality, but I just love these colors because they're just, they work well with the stuff I do. So like adding a bit of texture to the skin or just deepening the blush or whatever. And then obviously sometimes under sketching, um, I've done it a few times. Um, the only thing is like these don't erase amazingly. So I was looking into maybe getting, well, I keep saying I'm looking into, no, it was a really long time ago. I was going to get like the col color erase or something. But I don't, I don't really do a lot of colored under sketching at the moment, so I don't really see the point um, in getting them. But they do look really useful. Um, sometimes I use them if I'm just really struggling trying to get the anatomy right in a sketch, but not really much. Um, but yeah, I just, I really do like these though. Um, I love the blues. The blues, blue is my favorite color, so that's kind of why. And then obviously the purple is like really nice. And then obviously the reds are just really convenient. So it's like light blush and like deep blush. And then obviously just skin tone-ish. If you do it light enough, it's a skin tone at least. <laughs> um, I probably should add red actually. I mean not red, brown. Um, for skin tones as well. But yeah. And then my watercolor set. I really, really love this set. It's just so big. <laughs> Which sounds really stupid because it's like, I got this set because I wanted more colors, but now I'm complaining because it's too big. No, I, I, I love it. It's just, um, um, I don't know. I feel like I should, shouldn't have been stupid. <laughs> I know, no, I mean, like, I do love this set, which is really convenient because it's got more colors, but as a travel set, it's not really ideal where my other set was. Um... And so I might kind of just get the two paints of the colors I use most frequently. Like more like colors I use for skin tones and then some of the blues. Because I love blue. And oh, some of the browns. I really love these brown, this blue and this brown. I love it. Um, So I might just kind of get like tubes and get like the full pans or something. And just like get myself like a little kit and just kind of do it. But I'm not entirely sure. Um. I might do that at the end of the year, once I finish this year at uni, um, as a treat to myself. I say that, everything's a treat to myself. 
<laughs> I hate myself. No. But my little sister wants to go on holiday as well. So that might not happen. Or it might happen because it's more convenient just to take a few colors and a whole set. And then obviously my masking tape. But I only really use this with this, not my sketchbook. But yeah. I love masking tape. Um, just sometimes I don't put it down properly and then it gets underneath and I'm like, no! So that's my fault though. But no, this masking tape is fine. I love it. But yeah, Winter Newton. I, I, I know a lot of people say that Winter Newton's not that great. Especially the Cotman. Like, I've heard that you can get much better quality for around the same price. Um, with watercolors. But, I don't know. It's just, this is what I knew when I... When I first started watercolor, I can't talk. Right. When I first started watercolors, this is the only brand that I really knew, apart from the really, really cheap, like little kids watercolors. So this is why I got these, and I'm kind of, kind of want to try out other colors. I mean, other, other watercolor brands, but I don't really want to spend all the money on. Um, I'm getting more watercolors when I already have some, like, it's different if I would say invest your money for oils, because I don't have any oils, but because I already have watercolors, I think it's kind of silly, but I may, like I said, I do want to make, like, a little travel set with, like, colors I use my f most frequently, so I may, um, get a better brand for that. Or I may just get the professionals of Windsor and Newton because it's what I'm familiar with. And I know sometimes different brands work slightly differently and this is what I'm used to. So I don't want to get new brands and then be like, I can't use these. And I just spent all the money out on these to be more convenient. And now I can't use them. So I might just, I don't know. But I really like my watercolors. Um, I kind of need it in case though. <laughs> because it's broken. It's not awful. I can use it. But it's slightly annoying. <laughs> But yeah, um, so, yeah, thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed, um, I tried to get my videos out every weekend, um, I didn't the last two because I didn't have a, uh, I just kinda, I can't remember why the first week was, but the second week it was because I accidentally left my laptop charger at uni when I went home. So I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't actually do the video. And I didn't want to put it out in the middle of the week. Because then it would have messed with the, like, the thingy. But, yeah. So I try to get it out every weekend. I try to get it out on Saturday. And if not, it's on Sunday. Well, Sunday for me, at least. For, like, people, like, in America, it'll still be Saturday. But, yeah. Saturdays or Sundays, I try to get my videos out on. So if you liked my video and want to watch more, keep an eye out. And, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my thumbs, I apologize. <laughs> so yeah, have a good day. Bye.